Hello welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we tell you how Mussolini founded Italian Fascist Party. After World War I, 1914 to 1918. Despite the Kingdom of Italy, 1861 to 1946, being a full partner allied power against the Central Powers, Italian nationalism claimed Italy was cheated in the Treaty of saint germain en laye 1919. Thus, the Allies had impeded Italy's progress to becoming a great power, 44. Thenceforth, the PNF successfully exploited that perceived slight to Italian nationalism in presenting fascism as best suited for governing the country by successfully claiming that democracy. Socialism and liberalism were failed systems. In 1919 at the Paris Peace Conference, the Allies compelled the Kingdom of Italy to yield to Yugoslavia the Croatian seaport of Fiume, Rijeka, a mostly Italian city of little nationalist significance, until early 1919. Moreover, elsewhere Italy was then excluded from the wartime secret treaty of London, 1915, it had concorded with the Triple Entente, wherein Italy was to leave the Triple Alliance and join the enemy by declaring war against the German Empire and Austria-Hungary in exchange for territories at war's end, upon which the Kingdom of Italy held claims, see Italia Irredenta, in September 1919. The nationalist response of outraged war hero Gabriele D'Annunzio was declaring the establishment of the Italian Regency of Carnaro to his independent Italian state. He installed himself as the Regent Duce, leader, and promulgated the Carta del Carnaro, Charter of Carnaro, the 8th of September 1920 a politically syncretic constitutional amalgamation of right-wing and left-wing politics, anarchist, proto-fascist and democratic republican ideas, which much influenced the politico-philosophic development of early Italian fascism. Consequent to the Treaty of Rapallo, 1920, the Metropolitan Italian military deposed the Regency of Duce D'Annunzio on Christmas 1920. In the development of the fascist model of government, D'Annunzio was a nationalist and not a fascist, whose legacy of political praxis, politics as theatre, was stylistic, ceremony, uniform, harangue and chanting, and not substantive which Italian fascism artfully developed as a government model. Founded in Rome during the Third Fascist Congress on the 7th to the 10th of November 1921, 48, the National Fascist Party marked the transformation of the paramilitary fasci italiani di combattimento into a more coherent political group, the Fasci di Combattimento had been founded by Mussolini in Milan's Piazza San Sepolcro on the 23rd of March 1919. The Fascist Party was instrumental in directing and popularizing support for Mussolini's ideology. In the early years, groups within the PNF called Black Shirts, Squadristi, built a base of power by violently attacking socialists and their institutions in the rural Po Valley, thereby gaining the support of landowners. Compared to its predecessor, the PNF abandoned republicanism to turn decisively towards the right wing of the political spectrum. On the 28th of October 1922, Mussolini attempted a coup d'etat, titled The March on Rome by Fascist Propaganda, in which almost 30,000 fascists took part. The Quadrum Vers leading the Fascist Party, General Emilio de Bono, Italo Balbo, one of the most famous RAS, Michel Bianchi and Cesare Maria de Vecchi, organized the march while the Duchi stayed behind for most of the march. Though he allowed pictures to be taken of him marching along with the fascist marches, Generals Gustavo Fara and Sonte Cetterini assisted to the preparations of the march of the 18th of October.
Other organizers of the march included the Marquis Dino Perone Compagni and Ulysse Igliori. On 24 October 1922, Mussolini declared before 60,000 people at the Fascist Congress in Naples. Our program is simple. We want to rule Italy. Meanwhile, the black shirts, who had occupied the Po Plain, took all strategic points of the country. On the 26th of October, former Prime Minister Antonio Salandra warned current Prime Minister Luigi Facta that Mussolini was demanding his resignation and that he was preparing to march on Rome. However, Facta did not believe Salandra and thought that Mussolini would govern quietly at his side. To meet the threat posed by the bands of fascist troops now gathering outside Rome, Facta, who had resigned but continued to hold power, ordered a state of siege for Rome. Having had previous conversations with the king about the repression of fascist violence, he was sure the king would agree. However, King Victor Emmanuel III refused to sign the military order. On the 28th of October, the king handed power to Mussolini, who was supported by the military. The business class, the right-wing part of population. The march itself was composed of fewer than 30,000 men. But the king in part feared a civil war since the squadristi had already taken control of the Po plain and most of the country while fascism was no longer seen as a threat to the establishment. Mussolini was asked to form his cabinet on the 29th of October 1922, while some 25,000 black shirts were parading in Rome. Mussolini thus legally reached power in accordance with the Statuto Albertino, the Italian constitution. The march on Rome was not the conquest of power which fascism later celebrated but rather the precipitating force behind a transfer of power within the framework of the Constitution. This transition was made possible by the surrender of public authorities in the face of fascist intimidation. Many business and financial leaders believed it would be possible to manipulate Mussolini, whose early speeches and policies emphasized free market and laissez-faire economics. This proved overly optimistic, as Mussolini's corporatist view stressed total state power over businesses as much as over individuals, via governing industry bodies, corporations, controlled by the fascist party. A model in which businesses retained the responsibilities of property, but few if any of the freedoms. Even though the coup failed in giving power directly to the fascist party, it nonetheless resulted in a parallel agreement between Mussolini and King Victor Emmanuel III that made Mussolini the head of the Italian government. On the 15th of December, the Grand Council of Fascism was founded and it was the supreme organ of the PNF.